everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is making guitar picks from bioplastics. So let's get into it. So how do you make bioplastics? Well this method is actually really simple and it consists of only five ingredients. So what you're going to need is 0.3 of a gram of tannic acid, 20 grams of citric acid, 3 grams of KOH or potassium hydroxide, and then you're going to need 20 grams of casein. And on top of that, you're going to need two separate beakers. In one beaker, you're going to want 400 milliliters of deionized water, and in the second one, you want 150 milliliters. I'm very unsure if this works with tap water because I haven't tried, but it's always worth giving it a go. So let's get into it. So the first step is that you want to take your 400 milliliters of deionized water, grab your KOH, and just mix it in. So once you've made your KOH solution, what you want to do is get a piece of pH paper and just test it. And you want it to be about a 13 or a 14 on the pH scale. As you can see, that is absolutely perfect. So the next step is to grab your tannic acid and add it to the KOH solution. But there's a very important step right here, and you want to add it very slowly, little by little, because if you add it all at once, it's going to clump at the top, and it has potential to ruin your plastic. So I'm going to do that now. So once you've added your tannic acid to your KOH solution, it should look a little bit like this. And that's exactly what you're looking for. So the next step is to grab your smaller beaker of the 150 milliliters of water and just add your citric acid. So once you've added your citric acid to your 150 milliliters of water, you just want to test it with a piece of pH paper and you want it to be about a 1 to 2 on the pH scale. So let's give it a test. There we go, absolutely beautiful. So once you've done that, you want to bring your KOH and tannic acid solution back over. And this is probably the most important step of the entire method. And you want to start adding your casein very, very, very slowly to this solution. And it's the same story as the tannic acid. If you add it too fast, it's going to clump at the top and it's just going to ruin your plastic. So you want to make sure you take your time with this and really stir it in. So I'm going to go do that now. So now you've stirred in the casein to the tannic acid and KOH solution, it's time to bring both beakers together. And this is the really cool part because this is where the reaction is going to happen. And that's why I thought I'll bring the camera just a little bit closer so you guys can actually see it close up. So, Let's do it. All you want to do is tip your citric acid solution into the, into the tannic acid and KOH and just keep stirring. And what you're going to see is the plastic starting to drop. There we go. There we go. That is so awesome. And there's one important thing to note with this, and that is when there's no more of this plastic dropping out, this curdy looking stuff, you want to stop because it's going to make your plastic really watery. So I feel like the amount of citric acid in this solution was perfect. And that's what it looks like. Right, so once all your curdy plastic drops and it looks a little bit like this, what you want to do is get a strainer and a bowl and I choose to use some sort of netting because it's really fine and I'm able to squeeze the rest of the water out of it. So, you just dump it in there. Yummy! <laughs> and then you just squeeze all the excess water out of it. Once you squeeze all the excess water out of the plastic, you should be left with something that looks a little bit like this. And it has the consistency of maybe like Play-Doh, which is brilliant. So, what I've got here is I've got a mould, and I'm just going to put a little bit in this, and I'm going to put it under the press. And then with the rest of this plastic, I'm going to break it up, and I'm going to let this dry over the course of 48 hours. Um, you can dry it a bit quicker using something like a vacuum oven, um, but if you don't have something like that, air drying it's going to be fine. But remember, the curing process for this takes a little bit longer. So, just put a little bit in my mould, like so, I think that should be enough. I'm trying to aim for these picks to be anywhere between 2mm to 3mm thick. So, 
there we go, that's in my mould, and let me show you what it looks like once it's all broken up. There we go, so I'm just going to put that to the side because I'll probably use this for some later projects once I come up with a couple of ideas. Right, so I'm going to go put this under the press and I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done. So I'll see you guys in a second. There we have it, I've just pulled the mould out of the press and that is the result which I'm absolutely happy with. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut some picks out of it, I'm going to dry them and now I'm going to play you something on the guitar. So I'll be back in two seconds. So I cut the guitar picks out and I let them dry and this is what they look like. And they are absolutely solid. So let's play something on the guitar. Bear in mind I'm not the world's greatest guitarist. Okay. <laughs> so they work really well. So let's play one more song. That is so cool. I'm really happy that that works so well and I think I'm going to be using this pick permanently in the future. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.